This tutorial is to show some of the editing abilities of iMovie, but it also specifically about how to make a slow motion video from a, a video that you're taking with your GoPro or something else. And ideally, your video would have uh, higher frames per second than you normally take a movie in so that you have that slow motion look to it. But uh, with GoPro, what I've done is, is taken videos at 1080 format at 240 frames per second. And so, in my case, I, I want parts of the video to be in slow motion, but other parts to be in normal speed. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So this is the iMovie interface and that's what I'm going to use to edit this movie. So initially what you want to do is import the video or the videos that you want to include and in my case this is a video that I took with a GoPro Hero 7 Black and I did it in 1080 format with 240 frames per second. So here you'll see that that video was added to my library and and in my case I'm not going to get any more videos but you could get more videos and attach or append them together or do other things like that. But So what I'm going to do is I'll select this one and drag it down to the bottom. And so that, this at the bottom is what's going to end up being the movie that I export. So right now it's just the same as the original. But so I want to find places in this video where I want to delete them, or places where I want to make the action be in slow motion or in other cases just be in regular speed. So to help me find those places what you can do is you can use this settings slider to stretch out the frames so that you can easier find these places that you want to use or get rid of. And so as I slide my my cursor across here you can see the video is sort of playing but is playing at the place where I'm pointing at and so really what I'm looking for is some area where nothing's happening so that I can say get rid of it so if I go to here and I click there and then I go up to modify and split clip that will split it right there and so then I'm so through the stretch there's no birds in frame so I'm just going to get rid of it so I'm looking for a place where they do come back in frame so that I can make another split and then I'll delete that section So again, this looks like a long, really long video because it's a, it's a lot of frames per second that was recorded, but really the, the video was only about a minute, a little of a minute, so uh, it wasn't as long as, as this would make it seem, but in a minute you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about but so anyway I'm gonna make another split right here where I saw the female bluebird come out just before she came out of the birdhouse and so I'm gonna select this section here that nothing was happening and then hit the delete key so that so they got this got rid of it uh, let's do that end and see if it worked, but let's select this section. 
So now you can see in this piece here where she went into the word house and then she's coming out again and I deleted that section where in between where nothing was, was going on. So a lot of times what I like to do is make making when the bird is flying to be in slow motion because they're flapping their wings really fast and you can't see it in normal speed video. So if I go here and click right before she starts to fly and split there. And then so this section here where it's not really that fast in motion, I'll just go and modify that to be uh, and say reset speed. So that'll make that section play at normal speed. And, and actually at the, at the beginning I'm just going to make that reset speed as well. But then there's this part here where she comes out and she's flying. So during that time, I will I'll make another split, set this, modify this slow motion to be 10%. That makes it really slow. You can make it varying speed to uh, depending on how fast or slow you want it to be. So again, there's this another kind of stretch where there's nothing happening. And then the lovely bird comes up. So I'm going to split it again right before and delete that section where nothing was happening. So this is the part where nothing was happening. And you can see this selected by the yellow uh, box around it. I'm going to hit and I So then I, I can either hit delete or I can I can right click and like delete here. You can see that that goes away. But so then what I'll do also is I'll put another split here to set the end of where the bird was flying and then make the part where it's flying be in in a slower speed and then afterward it'll just be in regular speed. Yeah, so I so what I'll do is, is just make the rest of this video in the regular speed. And so you can see here we we have somewhat of a final video where parts have been deleted and some parts are in slow motion, some parts are in regular speed. So you can tell which parts are in slow motion by this little turtle icon that's um, on top of this split and then the other ones doesn't have that so it, it'll be in regular speed. So you can preview it if you, and see what it what your current working movie is looking like by just you know starting setting your cursor at the beginning and click and play and then you'll see a preview in the window on the right. So you can see it's going through and you see the bird flying slow speed and then coming back in slow speed. And then it goes back to regular speed here. Now that I have the video modified the way I want it and just the the clips that I want and also in the sp speed that I want. So sometimes what I, what I do with these slow motion pieces the sound will be kind of garbly sounding or you might have the wind sounds a little weird so what you can do is you can detach the audio from those slow motion pieces 
and just select that audio part at the bottom and delete it. That way, when it plays back, you won't be hearing that noise. Uh, and then the rest of the video, it'll have the sound as normal and it'll sound good. So at this point, I would just export what I have. And the way you do that is you can select this whole, all these clips at the bottom. Then you click File, Share. And there are a number of ways that you can share these videos. And normally I just create a a file and it'll give you some options on the resolution and the quality which uh, affect the size of the file and things like that um, and I recorded this video in 1080p so I'm going to just keep that as the re resolution the same as the source and then high quality and, and so after after you make those decisions you just click next and you can choose a file name for it uh, like I don't know birds and then when you click save it'll save export that to that file uh, and it may take some time depending on how long the video is and how good the quality is but then once you have it you can play it like any other video or you can send it to someone or put it on YouTube or whatever.